everyone, Steph here. Thanks so much for stopping by. And as you can see by the title, it's that time again for me to share with you my project for Where Ideas Bloom online store. And you guessed it, the link for Where Ideas Bloom online store, their blog, and my blog will be in the description box below. So, what you're looking at is a mini album that I made. And first, I want to share with you what I've used um, from Where Ideas Bloom online store and I have used this craft envelope this is the medium they have it in the small and the medium and I've used that as my page now here it is without the glare this would be great to send a little gift or you could just decorate it send a little gift send a little goodie or whatnot you know even with a gift card so I've used this as my page I've used this craft twine card here to help with my closure and I've also used these pin as you can see you got a bunch now what I did I used a Ranger Tim Holtz alcohol ink to change the color of the pin so here is my little mini and uh, this is my charm I use it to hang my charm so you can see there I change the color and uh, the craft twine cord wrapped around for my closure um, hold together with some lace that is a nice complementary color to the album what I've used is the uh, Frank Garcia the archivist line and I have the chipboard sticker here and this is the title of my album and it's French it's let me see if I pronounce this right toujours ensemble you guys know I don't speak French. I had to Google that, guys. <laughs> so it means always together. So I'm thinking that it would be a great little album for if you and your hubby go on a vacation or a trip, whatever, you know, to just document your memories of that vacation. Quick and easy, guys. So, and the heart charm, you know, represent the love being together so I've made a bunch of well not a bunch like three um, handmade flowers using the spellbinders uh, what's the name of it spellbinders rose creation a die and uh, there are leaves I have some flat back pearls there to give some interest and the butterflies is also from the collection the archivist so this is the back again and this is this is actually craft and I use um distress ink then I use embossing folder to give that look I absolutely love it so I've created a flap and the covers are chipboard back and front are chipboard and all you do is untie the vintage looking lace goes through the hoop there and this is the inside of the flap and it's quick and simple I did not decorate the pages this is the inside of the cover, the chipboard cover. I use EK Success Punch. You could journal here about your trip or the, you know, the beginning of it, whatever. And these are the pages of use. It's every single paper that you're seeing is from the archivist 4x6 journaling note card. That's it. I had to trim just a tad bit off the edge, but that's it. So it was quick project to get to, um, to come together and here you could put in memorabilia or whatever extra pictures whatever you could journal here I love these um, journaling note card from the collection and it just worked perfectly with the envelope so that's that page and that's the last one and that's the inside of the back of the chipboard cover. Again, the EK Success. And um, my flap was made with the craft paper as well. So it was quick and easy project, guys. And um, I hope you go and check out the store. So you just put it through. Okay, so guys, I hope you like my project. Let me know what you think. It's quick and easy. I hope you go and check out the store where ideas bloom. And I hope you like the video. 
if you do please give it a thumbs up if you don't still give it a thumbs up <laughs> i'm just kidding no for real um yeah so thank you all so much for watching and i hope to see you guys soon bye guys have a good day bye